it was Paul Halmos who said, the only way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics. Hello boys and girls, it's time to do mathematics. My name is Miss Alia Brewster and today I'll be guiding you through a lesson on metric conversions or measurements. So grab a notebook and a pencil, get settled, let's start. We'll begin with a warm-up exercise. We'll start off by doing our two times table. You can stand and recite the tables with me. Two ones two, two twos are four, two threes are six, two fours are eight, two fives are ten, two sixes are twelve, two sevens are fourteen, two eights are sixteen, two nines are eighteen, two tens are twenty, two elevens twenty two, two twelves twenty four. Our second warm up activities we'll be looking at questions revolving around the numeral 2. First question, is numeral 2 a odd or even number? It is a even number. What are the factors of 2? Factors of 2 are 1 and 2. What are the multiples of 2? Multiples of 2 are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and we can go on. What is the product of 2 and 5? In this instance, product means multiplication. So what is the product of 2 and 5? product of 2 and 5 would be 10. Before we begin our lesson that is measurement, we'll start off with a story. The name of this story is How Big is a Foot by Rolf Miller. Once upon a time, a king decided to give his wife a bed for her birthday. The queen did not have a bed because at that time, beds had not been invented. The chief carpenter's apprentice was ordered to make a bed that was six feet long and three feet wide. However, the bed he made was much too small. Think for a while. Why was the bed too small for the queen? How can the apprentice solve this problem? And why is it important to know how to measure things? Measurement is very important to us. When mommy is baking a cake, she has to know the exact amount of ingredients to use for that cake to be perfect. The carpenter or builder has to be certain that the blocks or wood has the precise shape so that it can rest in the exact space to make a house. If he or she cannot measure properly, the house will fall apart. In the story, we realize the bed was too small for the queen because the apprentice did not understand measurements. Let's continue with the measurement of length. Length describes the distance between two points. That is the space between two things. 
For example, the distance between your home and school, or the distance from one end of the yard to the other end. The unit for measuring length is meter. Things that are smaller than a meter is measured in millimeters, centimeter, and decimeter. However, to measure things bigger than a meter, we use decameter, hectometer, and kilometer. Let's now look at the abbreviation for these units of lengths. Millimeter is represented by mm, centimeter is represented by cm, and meter is represented by m, while kilometer is represented by km. Now we'll move on to converting units of length. This concept is simple if you understand it in this manner. If you are converting a large unit to a small unit, you have to multiply. However, if you're converting a small unit to a large unit, you divide. Examples, if you're asked to convert five kilometer to meter, you have to multiply because kilometer is larger than meter. Hence, we're being asked to change something that's large into something that's small. Therefore, we must multiply. So, the working would be to multiply 5 times 1,000, and the answer would be 5,000 meter. However, there are times you may be asked to convert a small unit of length to a larger unit of length. In those instances, we divide. For example, 1,500 meter converted into kilometer means that we must divide 1,500 by 1,000, and that would give us 1.5 kilometers. Now you can try this activity on your own. Number one, convert five centimeter to millimeters. Number two, convert 10 centimeters to millimeters. Number three, convert seven kilometers to meters. And lastly, convert two and three quarter kilometers to meters.
for the first activity, we were asked to convert 5 cm to millimeters. Therefore, we first remember that 1 cm is equivalent to 10 millimeters. Hence, 5 cm is equivalent to 5 times 10, which would be 50 millimeters. For the second question, we were asked to convert 10 cm to millimeter. Remember, 1 cm is equivalent to 10 millimeters. So, 10 cm would be equivalent to 100 millimeters. For our third activity, we were asked to convert 7 km to meters. Remember, boys and girls, one kilometer is equivalent to 1,000 meter. Therefore, we multiply 7 by 1,000, and we would get 7,000 meters. For our last activity, we were asked to convert 2 and 3 quarter kilometer to meter. Taking into consideration that one kilometer equals 1,000 meter, we first convert the two kilometer. Then we convert the three quarter kilometer to meter. Two kilometer to meter is two times 1,000, which would be 2,000 kilometers. While three quarter kilometers is equivalent to 750 meters. Now we add 2,000 and 750, and we would get 2,750 meters. Therefore, two and three quarter kilometers is equivalent to 2,750 meters. Comparing units of length. To compare units of length, today we'll use greater than, less than, or the equal sign. One method of comparing units of length is by converting. To convert, we change one unit to match the other unit so that both units of length are the same. For example, if we are asked to compare 50 centimeter and 3 meters, we will convert 3 meters to centimeters. Hence, to convert 3 meters to centimeters, we will multiply the numeral 3 by 100. That is equivalent to 300 centimeters. Therefore, 50 centimeters is less than 3 meters. For our second example, we are asked to compare half kilometer and 500 meter. To do this, we will convert half kilometer to meter by multiplying half by 1000. That will give us 500 meter. Therefore, half kilometer is equivalent to 500 meter. Try these activities on your own. Complete the number sentences using more than, less than, or equal. Number one, 50 centimeter. Is it more than, less than, or equal to half meters? Number two, 100 millimeter. Is it more than, less than, or equal to one centimeter? 70 millimeter, is it more than, less than, or equal to seven and a half centimeter?
Did you get all correct? Let's take a look. Number one, we were asked to compare 50 centimeter. Is it more than, less than, or equal to half meters? First, we convert half meters to centimeter. To do this, we multiply half by 100. This is equal to 50 centimeters. As you can see on the screen, 50 centimeters is equal to half meter. For question two, we were asked to compare 100 millimeter. Is it more than, less than, or equal to one centimeter? We begin by converting one centimeter to millimeter. Therefore, we multiply one by 10, and the answer is 10 millimeters. 100 millimeters, therefore, is greater than one centimeter. For the last activity, you were asked to compare 70 millimeters. Is it more than, less than, or equal to seven and a half centimeters? We begin by converting seven and a half centimeters to millimeters. To do this, we divide the mixed number. First, we multiply seven by 10, then we multiply half by 10. The answer would be 75 millimeters. Therefore, 75 millimeters is less than seven and a half centimeters. Thank you for tuning in, boys and girls. Remember, the only way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics. This means that even though our session might be over, you are still required to practice if you wish to be successful at your upcoming exams. Thank you for tuning in and goodbye.